I think if you you will you you have an opportunity to get into at community level and just see the unplanned pregnancies that are there, the size of some of the families, uh, and then the women are not able to cope because they're the ones who are struggling to even make ends meet in those particular families. And if I'm able to plan for my family, I'll make sure that I plan them in such a way that I'm able to provide for them. And therefore, we will obviously have a reduction in family sizes and improved quality of life for the children because you are able to provide for them. Then just have a, a mass production of children that you cannot even provide for them. For. Historically, the challenges was just to really break through, even to the women themselves, to see that this was an important issue for them and that they needed to carry it themselves along and they needed to even participate in, the advo in uh, advocating for it. So the other important issue was our knowledge base, uh, especially amongst us as women, because of the different levels of uh, education and so on. And then you had also the culture, uh, which talks to women having, or families having as many children as they, 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 they can have, because uh, God uh, said we must go ye and multiply. So those challenges, the beliefs, the, the, the society norms and so on, were indeed a big challenge. Now, what we need at the moment is just a movement that mobilizes women to be able to access the services. Because one challenge that I know still is with us is the health-seeking behaviors of women. And the fact that women think that they should be the least priority so whatever is available, they must first of all provide for the children, provide for the husbands. So this is the, the momentum that is gaining in the country to mobilize women to, to improve their self, their health-seeking behaviors.